this. Uh, today we're talking to the Workers' Party of Britain. It's running in its first general election uh, with 152 candidates. Uh, let's speak to Hos Shafi, who is the national campaign manager of the party, and he's in our Westminster studio. Welcome to you. Um, Hos, we've asked representatives of all of the parties to give a short sort of 30-second pitch of your offer to voters. So perhaps you'd like to go ahead. I would say to you that we're a, um, we're a necessity that's been born out of the politics that we've had in the last 49 odd years, where we've seen the, the Labour Party fracture and move further right. We're a left-leaning socialist party. We believe in looking after everyone. We're about taking everyone with us. We're not part of the, what's the best way of putting it, the Thatcherite way of, you know, the, the individual over society. We are people that want the whole of the country to go together, including the poor, including veterans, right. including the middle class as well that are becoming the poor at the moment. All right, well, your 30 seconds is pretty well up. Um, the ongoing conflict in Gaza has been central to the campaigning uh, by your party in this election. Yeah. But what can you really achieve? Um, the government will be formed either by the Conservatives or the Labour Party. That is the most likely outcome. What, what can you do to actually change their policies when it comes to Gaza? Well, at the moment, as the, as the polls are the way they're going, there's not a lot that we can do about what's going to happen. Uh, it looks like the Labour Party is going to win a huge majority. We want to just make sure that it's not as big as it is. We feel that it is a uh, unhealthy for a party to have a 400-seat majority because they can do whatever they want to do without any kind of uh, pullback from the rest of the people in the country. Now... Labour are not saying what they're doing. All they're doing is waiting for the Tory party that has disintegrated to be replaced by them. And that's all it is. It's right. literally... But I was asking what you're proposing in terms of a policy around uh, the Israel-Gaza conflict, because, as I say, the leader, George Galloway, has made it fairly central to his campaign. All, all I can say is that we're, we are fighting for the people of Gaza. We're out there demonstrating every single day, but policy-wise... We're a very small party. There's not a lot we can do other than put early day motions in. And all we can do is try and be the conscience of what I feel to be a parliament that has become a psychopath and a parliament that has become a psychopath through the fact that it's decided that what is happening in Gaza is normal. What's happening to the people well, of Gaza is normal. I, I don't think uh, the politicians of mainstream parties would uh, characterise it in that way, but I will ask them I... in just a moment. Um, would you prefer a Conservative or a Labour government? Neither. I don't see any difference between either of them. All right. It's literally just changing. All it is is imagine like the chairs on the Titanic. That's what we're looking at. Let's swap chairs over the Titanic because you have a Tory in, have a Labour in. It makes no difference. That ship is sinking. This country of ours is going down and it's going down. And, and I don't mean financially. I mean morally. Mm. We're bankrupt. We're part of an organisation or a country that has seen it fit yeah. to support a genocide. All right, but Ho Ho Hos, is there any hope coming from the Workers' Party uh, uh, of Britain? The, the only hope I've got is that I hope that people take the opportunity, because every time we hear about this is a democracy, you know, we've got to vote for the Labour or Tories or this or any other, I suggest you vote for wherever there is a Workers' Party person, vote for them. All right. If there isn't a Workers' Party person, vote for the independents, because we can't allow a Labour Party to basically have 400-seat majority. All right. 